Hello, thanks for stopping by StampsToDieFor.com. My name is Patsy Wagoner and I am excited to share with you today another technique how-to. Hope you enjoy it. Today I want to share with you a technique called Faux Cloisonne. Cloisonne. Um, cloisonne was, is an ancient uh, technique used in decorating metal works. It was a form of enameling. And we're going to show you how to get a full look of that using uh, embossing powder and a glossy magazine. You're going to pick a magazine that's glossy, and it is important to make sure that it's glossy, glossy. Some magazines are not using as glossy a cardstock or paper anymore. Um, I've done also one in a flower, you can see here, and a butterfly. But for today's project, I wanted to do a snowflake. With the holidays just around the corner, I wanted to make a Christmas card. So first of all, you're going to um, take, I'm going to put a little piece of cardstock down there. You're going to take uh, some gold Encore ink, and we have our snowflake. Uh, the snowflake is from the Festive Flurries, and it contains um, four different snowflakes. It comes with two cases. And you can also bundle it and get the Festive Flurries um, framelits so you do not have to cut out those snowflakes by hand. We're going to take our gold encore and we're going to ink up our stamp. I don't have too much of this blue left, so I'm going to stamp it up here in the corner because I want the snowflake predominantly blue. And, okay, I forgot a step. It's a good idea to use your embossing buddy on that glossy so that your powder doesn't stick where you don't want it to, but I always seem to forget it. Um, so I usually end up having to do a couple of these um, before I get it right. Taking our gold embossing powder and we're going to tap, 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 tap that off. You can see um, there's some gold powders where I don't want powder, but it's too late now, so we're going to finish it. Now I have my old heat tool up here, my new one, which has a covering over the tip so you don't burn yourself. Um, it's down in my stamp room, but you'll get the idea. Now when you're heat embossing, will see that that heat or that powder starts to melt and becomes shiny and sometimes it's easy to overheat it but there we go and then I took the framelit and just put this on our snowflake like this and ran it through the big shot and cut it out and there you have your full cloisonne. Now there are several ways to pronounce that, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it exactly right, but you can always go online and do a Google search as how to say it for sure. But anyway, that's today's Technique How-To, part of our 52-week series, and I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure and step over at www.stampstodiefor.com and download your free little tutorial and I'll be putting a little picture up there to remind you of what this project is. Hope you enjoyed it.